Hello everyone, this is David Coleman from WP Mare. Today we're going to look at a WordPress plugin called Ultimate Membership Pro. Now, if you've ever had the idea of making a little extra money with your content, you're going to want to take a good look at this plugin. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you start the plugin is its dashboard. And in the dashboard, you can see statistics and information about users, your levels, your payment transactions, and your members. And as you can see at the moment, we don't have a whole lot of information as we're just getting into the plugin. At the top, you'll notice little tab icons, including users, where you can create users and save your user list, levels for subscription and user levels, payment services that help you connect your payment gateways, inside lockers that helps you hide content within content, showcases for setting up your front end displays and pages, social login for registering and logging in socially, coupons for discounts for your membership, URL blocks for restricting content based on its URL, transactions, this is payment transactions, notifications, this is where you set up notifications by email and such, opt-in settings for getting connected with email marketing programs, and general options that have a variety of different options for you to set up. Now over on the right you have your short codes and it gives you a nice little display of your main short codes that you can copy and paste into your posts and pages and user short codes for form fields and such and you, as you can see there's quite a number of them this is handy to have right inside the dashboard and when you create your levels you'll have level short codes and also below that is a help menu and this is documentation and you can create a ticket if you need help directly to the developer there's buttons for item support and getting into the knowledge base which is really handy for having right inside the plugin user interface shows you how to install you install it just like any other plugin. Now step one in creating a membership site with Ultimate Membership Pro is to create your default pages that are required from the plugin. So as you can see right now we don't have any pages. But if you look to the right of the WordPress editor under the Membership Pro page type drop down menu you'll see all the default pages we need to create and we'll start right at the top with the redirect page so we can name our redirect page whatever we want for simplicity's sake we'll just name it redirect and you want to use the MP shortcodes to add your shortcode form and right now there's nothing specific to the redirect page so you can make your content whatever you wish you can add video images whatever you want and then go down to the drop down menu and set the page as the redirect page and click publish and let's go down to the next default page that we need to create and that's our login page and click the login form shortcode to add that and then go back to the right and set the page as our login page and click publish now let's quickly go back and add another one this one is our registration page let's click the membership pro short code for registration and set the page as our register page and publish quickly we're going through these and creating all our default pages now let's set up our lost password page and click the short code button for password recovery we can add any content with that we wish and then set the page as our lost password page and click publish let's add another one this is our logout page and let's click the short code for our login logout button and set the page as our logout page and publish and this is how you go through and you create quickly create all your default pages 
this is our user account page and we select the user page short code and set the page as our account user page and publish just go down the list and you can see how quickly you can accomplish this and here's our terms of service page we can create any content for that and we don't have a short code for that but we can set the page as our TOS page and publish the next page that is recommended or required in this case is our subscription page get the short code for that subscription plan and then we go back to the right side and we set the page as our subscription page and click publish now let's add another one and this will be our inside user page we can add any content to that and we have a visitor inside user page shortcode that the plugin provides us and we set the page as our visitor inside user page and publish now there's one more page we want to create first of all we can see all the pages we've quickly created but there's one more and that's the members page and to do that we want to go up to the showcases icon and click on the members list and in here is where we create what our members page looks like and it gives you an example right there of what it looks like and there's different parts of the members page you can create content for the inside part of the uh, members list and there's additional settings for responsive and you know mobile devices as well as custom CSS below but we want to use the short code generator for our members page and you can choose among different themes and see a preview below and once you get it set the way you want you select your short code go in and create your new page you can name it whatever you wish we'll correct we'll call it members and you just paste your short code and you can add any other content and then go down and publish and now when we go back to our pages list we can see that we got all the required pages for the ultimate membership pro plugin step two in creating your membership site with ultimate membership pro is creating your levels and you do that with the levels icon at the top of the dashboard now this will affect access to content depending on a user's level first thing you do is you put in a slug that needs to be all lowercase and we're going to use free as an example and we'll give them lifetime access to basic content on our site I would leave these at the default unless you have a reason to change them our payment type is free we can put in any content here we'll say this is free membership and we'll put a price of zero dollars zero cents and save that level and as you can see we got one level set up for lifetime to our basic content let's add another level the use all lowercase we'll put in bronze for this level and our access type is regular period and this is for recurring memberships so we'll give them access for one year to the bronze level when it expires they go back to free leave these at the default this is a payment type of payment with a level price of seventeen dollars ninety seven cents and this is ongoing you can set up a trial period if you want and we'll put in bronze membership and we'll give this a price of seventeen dollars and ninety seven cents and save that and now we have two levels let's create another one we'll go with a silver level and access type is regular period for recurring levels one year again and then they go back to free ex after expiration payment type is payment we'll give them a level price of twenty nine dollars ninety seven cents it's ongoing and we'll type in silver membership and a price of twenty nine dollars ninety seven cents last we will create a gold level all lowercase for the slug gold regular period for recurring one year expires they go back to free a payment plan of payment a level price of forty nine dollars and ninety seven cents 
We'll type in gold membership and put the price in there with the dollar sign and click save. And that quickly you create your levels. We have four levels for our membership. Now you can manage your levels here. You can edit, go back and edit or delete these levels. You can reorder the levels. And we'll go to the subscription plan showcase to see what our subscription page will look like. We can choose and change templates. And you can see it's nicely designed. You have custom CSS you can use. And now let's go and look at a preview. And we have PayPal as our default gateway. And so that shows up at the top with the radio button for it selected. And this is a preview of what it looks like. And if they click sign up, they go to PayPal because that's our default gateway and this is what the order page basically looks like from PayPal and there you have it now the third step in building out your membership site is restricting content and we can do that by creating content name it whatever we want there's three basic ways to restrict content first one is to go down to the ultimate membership pro locker and take your content and restrict it or show it to certain levels so for instance we might show this page to our free members and if someone isn't registered they're taken to register and now we create a page another page and we're going to restrict this to only people who are registered as bronze level members and show page only for bronze people and if they're not registered they're redirected to subscribe and then we might set up a page for only silver content again we can name this whatever we want any content we want and just go over to the right and we'll restrict that to show only for silver members and if they're not registered they go to a page where they need to subscribe okay now you can also drip content based on intervals it can start as soon as they subscribe after a certain number of days it can start on a certain date and then it would expire whenever you choose perhaps never or perhaps after a certain number of days or on a certain date now the second way to restrict content is through the inside lockers so first you need to create a locker, give it a name. We'll call this the gold locker because it's only for gold members, this content. Pick a template and you can see what it looks like down below. It gives you a preview. And you can change templates. And you can give additional display options. And we'll keep the this content is locked message. Okay, and so we created a inside locker called the gold locker. And then you need to create your content. Now this is gonna hide content within content. So create any content, select the content that you want to restrict, select the MP locker icon, and we're showing this content only to our gold users, and we're choosing the locker we just set up, and clicking save. And now you'll see a preview. Here's our short code. After hitting publish, you'll see a preview of what this looks like. So as you can see, you need to log in or register to see that content. The third way to restrict content is with URL blocks. And this is based either on specific URLs or keywords within URLs. So here's a specific URL. We're blocking it only we're only letting our bronze members see it, so we're blocking unregistered users and free users. And we can create a URL that is blocked based on a keyword within that URL. This is a good way to block categories. So this is only for the bronze members, unregistered users and free users are denied access. And if they try to get in, we send them to a subscription page. And when we look at our pages, we can see which ones are restricted based on membership levels. The fourth step to building out your membership site is setting up your payment gateways. So you go up to payment services and you can see the various options you have. We set up PayPal, Stripe, and bank transfer. Let's take a look at PayPal. Once you set it up, you want to turn it on. 
PayPal asks for your email address and a redirect page after payment here. They accept multiple payments and you can set the order for the end user. Let's take a look at Stripe. They ask for your secret key, a publishable key. They accept multiple payments as well. And for bank transfers, that's for offline payments. You can set a bank transfer message and give payment details within that message. And looking at the payment settings, you can choose your currency. The plugin provides multiple options here. And then set your default gateway, and we have PayPal for that. The fifth and last basic step for making a membership site with Ultimate Membership Pro is managing your front-end showcases. Now these are the forms and pages we created before, but we can go back in and tweak and change them. You can change your templates, and they give you previews. You can change the subscription types and how they're assigned to new users. You can change the roles for WordPress users. You have all kinds of tweaks you can make. And as you can see, there's a quite a variety of features that the plugin offers. You can change your double email verification or turn it on in this case. And of course they provide custom CSS. You can also choose the custom messages for errors that show up and create custom fields for different forms throughout your site on the front end. They have a variety of short codes like I said before. Now for the login form you can change your templates as well. You can also change the display options for the login form. They have custom CSS as well and custom messages for successful actions that your users take as well as error messages again. Subscription plans, you can change how that looks on the front end to your users as well as the default payment selection. As you can see it's very nicely designed. You can change the user account page with the templates, show avatars, show the welcome message, change that, determine the tabs to show, create the standard message they see, and again many options with custom CSS. And for the members list page that we created you can go back if you wish and change all of that. You can tweak and change things as they appear on the front end to your users change the content, custom CSS, change the settings for responsive devices, and much, much more.